I'm missing. Do you think I want that that's to, a problem that your news network it was not, lies? Well, I don't. I don't. Th Dude, I mean, what did they say? They lied what and they said I was taking horse dewormer. First of all, it was prescribed to me by a doctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Along they with shouldn't have said a it was bunch horse. of if, other if medications. Was, if you got a human pill, because there were people that were taking it, the veterinary medication, and I, you're not obviously. You got it from a doctor, so that it shouldn't be called that. Ivermectin can be a very effective medication. For parasitic disease, and as you say, it's probably, you know, I think, what, a quarter billion people have taken it around the world? More, I get that. Way more. So Way but, more. Can, Billions can, of people have taken it. Can I just come back to the one? I want to talk about I, two, No, no, two, no, no, Two no, no, things no. on you the ledger. To, you have, before we get to that, does it bother you that the news network you work for out and out lied? Well, just outright lied about me taking horse dewormer? They, they, they shouldn't have said that. Why did they do that? I don't know. You didn't ask? You I didn't think that was your, did, you're the medical guy over there. I didn't ask. I should have asked before coming But they coming did it with podcast. such glee. You think that even with a breakthrough infection, untreated, you're probably more vulnerable than the average child who is not vaccinated, who gets COVID. Uh, like, like people have died who are double vaccinated. In fact, there was a guy who just won an Emmy who's uh, who's yeah, I saw that. Yeah, the odds of that happening to a healthy child are very, very low. Very low. But that guy is probably your age. How old are you? I'm 51. Yeah, he's about your age. Theoretically, you would be more vulnerable than a young child would be. You vaccinated would be more vulnerable of a breakthrough infection than a young child would be, statistically speaking, right? Uh, but you're not worried about catching it. They're both catch rare. But you're not worried about catching it. You're not worried about catching it because you've been vaccinated and you think it imparts a certain amount of protection. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying to you is I think that not worry is the same feeling that a lot of people have about their children. They're not worried about their healthy children catching it for the same reason you're not worried about catching it being vaccinated. That if treated correctly, they think that the child probably has a better chance even than you do because you're 51 years old. I, I think... Does I, that... I mean, they're, they're both... That seems reasonable, right? Well, I think it's... I don't... I, I, I know the story but about you, this 53-year-old But you see guy. what I'm saying? Like with your well, attitude that you're not worried about catching it because you've been vaccinated and you're a healthy guy. I'm, that is the exact same feeling that people have about vaccinating their children. If they have healthy children and they know that statistically speaking, there's so few children that have died from COVID. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, th th there are. It's like, I think, 500 or so children. Out of have millions died from, and millions and millions of kids. That probably have been exposed. Yeah. And... and but, you know, it's again, part of it is is not defining this in terms of life and death. Um, I think but do it's you some... understand my point? Well, are you suggesting I get boosted? I'm not, not say? saying that. What I'm saying is your attitude about not being concerned because you have antibodies and you think you would get through it even if you had a breakthrough infection. That is the exact same attitude that a lot of young people have where they don't want to get a shot. Because they're worried about the consequences, even though they're incredibly small. Consequences of the vaccine. Of the vaccine. Inc